Hello, 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 my beautiful boss playmates. It's me, Ikenisha, your favorite business consultant. And real quick intro, because this video, I don't want it to be too long. So I actually had a video already planned and everything, but I rescheduled it for next week. So if you were coming to look at a video all about the digital product ideas for boutique owners, then I'm sorry that it's gonna be next week. So what ended up happening was, Beacons, which is the site that I use now instead of Shopify, they came out with a website builder today, April 9th. So I wanted to give you all a quick walkthrough. It's not gonna be a tutorial or anything like that. It's just gonna be you seeing my screen as I walk through it for the first time. I'm not gonna build out an entire website. It's just for me to get the gist of how the website builder is. And so you all can play with it as well. From what I have gathered, it is free. Um, I think add-ons would cost. Um, I kind of talk about that a little bit in the walkthrough. So, but again, I'm not sure because it doesn't really have anything with pricing. But if you're not aware, I did move from Shopify to Beacons with my digital products. I've been selling digital products since 2018 and I was using Shopify. Shopify's prices went from $26 to $29 to $39. When it went to $39, I was like, I can't do that. So, <laughs> so with Beacons, I use Beacons AI. I was using Stand Store, uh, but now I use Beacons AI for my page as well as my other three faceless pages on Instagram. I use Beacons AI as well. So it is a link in bio type of site, but you can still go to it on a computer as well. So what if, what I mean by link in bio is, you know how Linktree is? And it has like different links, but Beacons is a little bit more in depth. You actually have email marketing, you have an actual store, you have your link, tr your link tree, all of that stuff. Analytics, you can have your own domain, you can um, integrate with Shopify if you want, you can integrate with other email providers, I think. Yeah, it has a whole lot. It's, it's way better than Linktree or any other link in bio I've ever seen other than Stan Store. Stand Store and Beacons are very similar, except that Stand Store is more expensive and Beacons offers more for low prices. So the 29 that I was paying on Shopify, I actually pay that now on Beacons and I have everything in a little bit more than I had on Shopify. If you all hear all that noise, I'm sorry. I'm outside because my son was jumping on a trampoline, so I'm out here watching him. So anywho, um, yeah, so that's why I moved from Shopify to Beacons if you aren't already aware. If you would like to use Beacons, be sure to click the link in my description box because you can get $20 in credit. I think it's $20 in credit. I'm always positive. Yeah, $20 in credit if you use my uh, referral link, okay? So, next screen, you're going to be seeing me walk through Beacons Website Builder and that's it, okay? Um again next video will be the digital product ideas for boutique owners and i think i'm going to do another video about digital product ideas i'm not sure um i don't really like to plan out my videos anymore because i feel like i'm under stress and under pressure and i gotta do it and i just want the freedom to create whatever the hell i want to create okay so next video digital products ideas for boutique owners video after that i don't know you'll know when i know okay all right bye all right so when you get on the beacons site there is now a part that says create sell shine the ultimate website builder is here so like i said in the introduction i want to go through this with you all together so if this video ends up being long i apologize i just want to go through it and see how well they did it i know it's still kind of you know being um rolled out because it is new it literally mm, excuse me it literally came out today. Today is April 9th as I'm filming this. All right, so let's see what happens. We're going to check it out. Website builder made for creators, blah, blah, blah. Okay, okay. I'm not going through all that. If you want to go through that, you can. So we're going to choose a template. I guess this is just like uh, Shopify's. So let's see. Hmm. Adventure travel, you have beauty and fashion. Mm, they look okay. Nothing too spectacular, but maybe they'll change that up later. Let's just do one for the sake of doing one, and then I may do a video later on. Um, you know. Let's do, I don't want to do the adventure travel. I don't like the way that looks. Um, I'm just going to pick one. We'll just do this. So you look through it. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, cute. All right, let's press use. Mm. 
Hmm. Put my YouTube down there at the bottom. Cool. All right. So this is what it looks like. This is what the URL will be. I do have my own custom domain, so I need to see if I can move that to this. That's a great question to ask them. So you can go through here and change up the pages. You can add a page or an external link. There's your design for the colors, fonts, buttons. Okay. You can add a section. So you have a hero content you should add, you add your images, video, you can add videos, you can add your items from your store. Oops, I did not mean to click that. Emails, I actually clicked it, did not mean to do that. Let's go back. Spotify, TikTok, YouTube, showcase your feed. Oh, this is cool. Okay, let's go down, let's see what else we can do. So let's say we wanna change this. Okay, you just click it, you change up the text. Edit pages, edit the social icons. Okay, I know what that's talking about. Let's go back to that. Okay. And design. You can change up your palette. Okay. It's your logo stuff. Okay. I'm liking. I'm liking. Let's just change it up. Let's just let's just see what it what it does. So let's do that. Let's say I don't want those colors. I would like for my colors to be up here. I'm not liking how I can't bring, for one thing, I wish I could get this off. Okay, there we go. <laughs> hmm, I don't like how I can't, oh, there we go, link in bio. Because I have my own colors, so. But they do have other ones in here. All right, so we'll do that. Okay, let's leave that. So you could change these, change up the content. It can be an image or a video. Change up all the buttons and change up to where they go. Okay. This is kind of cool, y'all. I'm liking, I'm liking. It's very, <clears throat> it's very user-friendly. It's very self-explanatory, very easy to navigate. I'm liking, I want to see what it does when you add your Instagram or your content. Let's see. I don't like how it keeps making you jump back up to the top of the screen though. That's annoying. Okay, you just add your YouTube videos. Okay, cool. That's easy. This is great, y'all. And it looks like you can literally do whatever you want to do and it has a spot for you to add the feedback. Hmm. Let's see what happens if we add. Well, they already have all that. Let's see what happens if I add a product. And if you all hear any noise in the background, it's just my son. He has his tablet going. He's sitting by me. Okay, so let's just put my classes or something learn from me here whatever and okay and then you just choose them okay so I'm just gonna choose a few and then we'll see what it looks like uh, we'll just choose those four for the other classes okay so where is this at because it keeps making you jump back to the top of the page which I do not like at all okay so it's way down here so I'm guessing you can change up the sections. Yep, you can drag it. That's great. So you can drag it up if you need to. Drag it wherever you want to. Okay, we gotta take this one out because I put it in twice. All right, so let's scroll back down. Okay, it's kind of big, but I'm guessing you can edit that. So let's see, layout. Yep, so you can change up how it is. I'll do them like that. Design, we can buy an A. We can have a background image on it. Let's go back down. This, yeah, y'all, yeah, that's the only thing I don't like. I gotta keep going back down to where you were. Jesus. Okay, yeah, that made it smaller. That's great. Display the prices, which sometimes you don't want to display the prices.
Oh, I like it. Different versions of your colors. Yes. Love. Okay. Well, this is awesome. All right. All right. All right. I see you. I see you, Beacons. Let's see what happens with this. If I can change up the image in here and see what it looks like. Am I in the same section? Because this is... Okay, yeah, it is. It looks weird. It doesn't look like the same one. All right, let's change up the video. Let's see. I have a photo, but I don't know if it's in here or not. Let's see if I can find it real quick. Okay, here it is. Let's see. I wonder if I should do custom. I want to do the custom size. Yep. Yeah. All right, there we go. Press accept. And it's going to resize it. Okay, okay. Oh, no, I didn't mean to press it. Okay. So where is the photo? All right, so I'm not sure exactly where the picture is showing up because... Yeah, this is weird. Okay. Okay, that's right. Hmm. Oh, that's why. Let's take that off. No? Okay. Hmm. Y'all, that's odd. Image. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to go back to this and put my photo here. Let's see what happens with that. Oh, no. Now it's making me go all the way back. Okay, hold on. Now that it's in here, it does not look right at all because of the size. And it didn't give me an option to actually change up the size when I uploaded it. So I don't want a button. We don't want that. Yeah, see? Now it's not giving me... This will be something I will have to play with. Let's keep saying background image. I don't want it to be a background image. I want it to be the actual image. Hmm. That will take some playing with to figure out. Um, I will probably have to see exactly what size they want this photo to be. Because it's not fitting and it's not giving me, an, it's not letting me know. Yeah, that, that's going to be something that you would have to figure out. Let's see what it does if I change it to this. Hmm. No. What in the world? That is odd, y'all. I don't like that at all. Hmm. I wonder why does it look like that? I wonder what happens if we just delete it all. Let's delete all of that. And then let's just add a section. Let's do that. Let's just see what it does. Not liking how, again, it keeps, oh, there it is. No, that's not it. Yeah, I don't like how it keeps sending us all the way back down to the bottom. And we got to drag it all the way up to the top. We want it here. Let's change the layout to this, which is what it was at first. All right, I'm going to change this again. Let's do custom. See, and I did it, but it's still not here. So I'm wondering what is this particular part that says content? I'm not understanding. Hmm. All right, so let's hide that. Let's go to the design and do the background image. We'll do that again. Mm -hmm. 
and we're back to doing the same thing so again this will be something i would have to play with to figure out exactly what the sizing is hmm okay so we know that's something wait let's see what this is oh that's the actual content in the inside so we don't care about that i'm trying to figure out how to get that part to look right well all right, so again, that will be something I would have to play with or you would have to play with. This is something that you decide to do, decide to use, rather. All right, so one other thing I'm going to look at before I let y'all go. Let's see how the navigation does. So we can just see renames. So it'll just be home. We don't want to do that. So let's just add a page, I guess. Okay, so we'll go to the second page. Okay, so this will be the second page. We're going to name it. Okay. So we'll name this. I'll name these freebies, I guess, where my free items would be. Okay. So here is where I would just add all of my free items. So like my goals uh, setting sheets. Yeah. All right. So this would be. You found them. I'll do that. Check out all of my freebies here. So we'll select the products. Let's find everything that's free. So that would be free. That would all be right. free. And this free. I saw it. So let's just add those three items. I wonder if we get how that would look if we take it out. Okay, so let's see. Let's lay out. If you all hear noise again, I'm sorry. That is both my kids. One of them just went out the door. So I know with this, I would definitely want to see. Yeah, I love that. And this one prices, which we don't have to do because they're free. I want to keep playing this because I think I'm going to be using this, y'all. And then I'm going to check out what exactly the prices are. Um, because this is definitely, it's very simple and easy to use. So everything is down here as well. Okay, cool. So that's how you would do that. Let's see how it look. We went back to the home page. How we do that. Okay, it has to be named. Hmm, it's already home, but it's not showing in at navigation. Let's see what it looks like up top. Oh, let's put show. That's why. All right, there we go. Perfect. And you can set this as the home page if you want to. Okay, so I see what you have to do. So you're going to keep creating pages or an external link if you want to, but you're going to keep adding pages. They will show up here. And that's how your navigation would be. You have that there. You're going to change this up, add whatever sections you want to add. And then when you're done, I'm guessing you just click publish. <coughs> Excuse me. So, um, so far, y'all, this is how it would look on the phone. I really think this is, again, something else I'm going to be using because you all know I moved from Shopify to Beacons AI with my digital products. And... Um, main reason because of the price. Shopify went up $10. I was not with that at all. And everything that I need to sell digital products, I have here on Beacons for the price that I used to be paying on Shopify. So, you know, I had to go back to that. Let's see if it shows anything around here with the... No, it doesn't. It just says new website. And then you have your analytics here. Oh, that's great. I wonder what kind of analytics so it would just show orders, sales. What? 11. Okay. Um, your sources, your website. Okay. So this is what um, I'm waiting for because you all know I'm all about the numbers. And that's the only downside with Beacons AI. It does have some analytics insights and such already. I'm not talking about with the website, but what I already use, the link in bio. But it's not as in depth as I would like it to be. However, I do have my Google Analytics uh, tag, whatever, connected to it. So I can use that as well. But I just really wanted 
my own insights here on what I use. So um, yeah, this is the Beacons website builder. Again, I am not saying anything about price. That could be something you we might have to ask. But from what I'm seeing, it's free. <laughs> and I'm thinking what happens is if you want to do more on it, like the changing up the custom domain, you may have to pay for that. That is what I'm guessing. And let me see. Yeah. So connect the domain you already own. Look into a sound domain you already own. Connect to your website. We're here to help. Blah, blah. So, okay. 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 So that's just showing me the domain I already have. All right. Okay, Daniel. So again, I am guessing that this is free and that the rest of it that maybe you want to add on. Let's see about the email. Let's see what happens if I want to add email. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, let's just say that. Subscribe today. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I'm guessing it's at the bottom of the screen. They got to fix that. Jesus. Okay, so we'll leave that there. Responses. Okay, that goes to your audience. Okay, design, background. Okay, let's just design it. So this is just what it would say. Okay, so it looks like the website is connected to your already link in bio. So if you're someone who's already been using beacons, then it looks like it's just connected to your link in bio and you can use either or. So I'm going to keep playing with it and uh, probably building it out. And then if it looks the way that I want it to look, this will be my website. So um, if you all have any questions, leave them in the comments. I will probably be giving feedback to you know the people at Beacons. I have actually been in contact with one of the employees there, well, one of the founders. And uh, so I've been able to get some questions answered pretty quickly. So um, yeah, if you all have questions, leave them in the comments down below. Again, this is going to be something that I'm going to be using. So if you want to keep checking back on my actual website, iconishaj.com, in the next two weeks or so, see if it has changed. If it changed changes compared to what it, what it already is, like go to it now so you can see what it looks like. And then come back in about two weeks and see if I changed it. Okay. Um, if you want to use Beacons, be sure to click the link in my description box. You will get a, I think it's $20 off or $20 credit rather. So be sure to click that and always, um, excuse me. And as always, you can contact me on Instagram at royal underscore Aries 325. I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.